It all depends upon how we answer the question, who am I? So how do we get to the right answer to that question? Not outwardly, but inwardly. How do we feel the truth of that answer, that I am not this body, uh, no birth, no death, no uh, caste have I, father, mother have I none, mind nor intellect nor ego feelings, sky nor earth, nor metals am I. I will be thine always, my Lord, I will be thine always. How do we get to that answer with conviction? You could say that almost uh, everything that Yogananda taught was to help us give the right answer to this question, to get out of this cycle of life and death. And you know, we could go through, pick apart every single of his teachings, every technique, and they all lead to this. But let me pick three um, as, as one way of looking at it. The first one, um, he says, the best way to change our answer to who am I is through meditation. Immortal souls can only expect to be free by utterly destroying all seeds of earthly desires by contact with God through meditation. Meditation reminds the soul of the unending fulfillment in the immortal inheritance of bliss and makes desires for earthly ways unnecessary and ridiculous. Every time we sit in deep meditation, for that moment, we have risen above body consciousness. However little, we've soared up just a little bit above that. And that filters into our daily life. And as it filters into our daily life, our next meditation will be deeper. So this vicious circle of birth and death is counteracted by this virtuous cycle of deeper meditations and rising above body consciousness. Swami Kriyananda gives a wonderful technique. Say yes to life. What this does is when we are faced with a challenge, the internal narrative says, oh, good heavens, why, why is this challenge coming to me? And we say, who am I? What are my strengths and weaknesses? Oh, no, 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 I, this is not me. I don't have any ability to face the challenge. Uh, that's the inner narrative. So saying yes to life will help us answer the question, who am I? What are your strengths and weaknesses? In the cosmic sense, the immortal inheritance of bliss, as Yogananda put it, rather than in the limiting sense. The third aspect really is that behind all meditations, all participations in life, they all become more effective when we constantly think of God in everything that we do. Instead of saying, I did this, I achieved it, I meditated, I failed, I succeeded, feel that God is doing it through us. Quoting uh, Yogananda from this book, Karma and Reincarnation, and I'll end my talk with this quote. Uh, he says, during activity, never feel that it is you who are acting. Act instead with the thought that God is the doer. Pray to him. Lord, thou art acting through me. Even when you make mistakes, make him responsible for them. He likes that. 